afternoon and welcome to Group 1 New Podcast. I am Mei Rong and joining me today is Laila. Here are the headlines for our news today. Thank you, Mei Rong. Uh, we have a big line up of story to bring you tonight about uh, pros and cons of minimum wage among the graduates. So let's dive right in. Minimum wages can be defined as the minimum amount of salary that employer is required to pay employees for good performance during a given period, which cannot be reduced by a collective agreement or an individual contract. This safeguards graduate against unfairly raw law pay and denies them the advantage they are entitled to. Yes, according to Bank Negara Malaysia, uh, a good living salary for a family in Kuala Lumpur is between uh, 4,500 ringgit and 6,000 ringgit. Uh, the national minimum wage uh, has been fixed at 1,500 ringgit since uh, 1 May 2022. Next, let's connect with our Ofta reporter and see what are the opinion of the university student. Our first update come from University Malaysia Kelantan. Our reporter Jiva is on the screen. Jiva, what can you tell us? Thank you, Merong. So now I'm in University Malaysia Kelantan. So now I'm going to interview two students. Come, let's go. Okay. So there are two uh, students over there, so come. So, hi guys. Hi. Uh, are you guys a current student of UMC? Yeah, we are here. Okay, so I want to ask us, I want to take a short interview. So, can I ask a few questions? Okay, let's see. So, okay, do you guys know about the minimum wages? Yes. So, great. What is your opinion about it? Do you think it's good or bad? I think that the, uh, the minimum minimum wage help to improve the standard of living, and also it will increase the productivity and employ royalty. This is because with the minimum wage regulation, graduate will feel that actually what they deserve, and it also provide uh, motivation to graduate to work harder. At the same time, it also improve the work efficiency and royalty to the company. Yeah. Other than that, minimum wage regulation also have uh, uh, income disparity, lower income disparity, and also reduce the loss of talented graduates. Uh, because providing a minimum wage uh, for graduates with professional knowledge or skill can prevent them from having idea of going to the abroad. Thus, reduce the possibility that the country will lose talented graduates with specialized training. So, Lina, what about Kuhn? The cons is that the price of product and services increase. When there are a rise of minimum wage, it will increase the labor cost. Businesses that experience higher cost of labor as the consequences of minimum wage rise may pass those costs forward to consumer by increasing the price of their product and services. I think that minimum wage regulation will cause welfare deterioration. Welfare are one of the expenses of company when an employer provides an employee with salary contingency benefits, example like healthcare and pensions. Therefore, employers may make up for wage employees, leading to gradual deterioration in the benefits of their receipt. So, so, okay, thank you so much for your cooperation. So, see you later. Bye. No problem. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jeva. Okay, now let's take a look at other situation. And after this, we will pass to Batsusha and Nadira. Hi, all. <sighs> what happened to you guys? We drive for three months. I still never get any job. Because of minimum wage situation, company reluctant to request funds, pressure due to not have happened to pay a higher minimum wage. This has led to a decrease in job opportunity. I see. Don't give up. What about you, Soeing? Why so angry? 
I feel so unfair that my salary is sent with the new graduate. I have more experience and higher skill than them. It's so unfair. I should be earn more salary than them. I understand. That's the cons of uh, the minimum wage regulation. However, there are also advantage uh, which are financial stability and diminished exploitation. Minimum wage regulations allows graduates to have a stable financial situation. It also helps to reduce the exploitation. The minimum wage regulation is to ensure that graduates who have just entered the workplace do not suffer losses but get more benefits from it. With the minimum wage regulations, it is possible to prevent more companies from giving graduates wages indiscriminately. Hi and good afternoon, I'm Patricia. I am Nadira. Now, we will conclude the pros and cons of minimum wage among the graduates. In conclusion, there are pros and cons of minimum wage for fresh graduates. Positively, it can increase consumer spending, raise living standard, even the loss of excellent graduates and minimize income inequality. Minimum wage regulation can also improve the moral, efficiency, and overall well-being of workforce. However, there can be adverse impacts such as reduced employment prospects, skill-based inequality, rising price for products and services, and welfare deterioration. In order to ensure economic growth, job opportunities, and the welfare of graduates of businesses equally, the government needs to carefully evaluate of these factors and strike a balance between fair wages and any adverse consequences. Thank you. That's all the time we have for now. Bye. Goodbye and take care.